Hello. Hello everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, yeah, here I am again. It's been a little while, but there is a reason. And I will talk about it. Um, I am Anna Greta, for those of you who do not know that. I live in the beautiful Norway, up in the Scandinavian countries in the Northern Europe, the Northern Nordic Hemisphere. So we have summer. And I live, of course, in the capital of Norway, Oslo. So I live here in my apartment with my husband and my two guinea pigs. Right. Um, I'd like to tell you that June was a very hot month here. Um, lots of sunshine. Temperatures between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, okay? The end of June, however, and up till now in July, it's been, well, it's what we call a normal Norwegian summer. Rain, sunshine, rain, sunshine, thunder, rain, sunshine, thunder, rain, sunshine, and cold. It's been between, yeah, I don't know, 13 to maybe 18 degrees Celsius. Um, but all, also all the way down to five, seven plus degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's not been, <laughs> but that's, that's the Norwegian summer for you. So um, yeah, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Bit cold, but still it's good. It's green outside though. And lots of flowers, lots of grass. The blueberries are coming, raspberries are coming, uh, the wild strawberries is out, and mm. so we need to just enjoy it, don't we? So, uh, yeah. Okay. If you can recall in the last video, I've been talking a lot about health and eating and taking care of yourself, cleaning yourself up, healing your body and uh, eating lots of vegetables and fruits and herbs and yeah, things like this, berries. Um, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, hey? <laughs> anyway, so um, I have done something the last nine days that I'm not going to tell you about. And um, it's uh, called the Advanced 369 Cleanse from the medical medium Anthony Williams. Well, actually, it doesn't come from Anthony Williams. Well, he's been writing it and he's talking about it, but it actually comes from Spirit of Compassion. It's a spirit that talks to Anthony William in his ear, okay? And I believe in those things. So, um, anyway. I was thinking I should uh, share my nine days with this cleanse and what's it all about, what is done to me, and I will share a bit about that. Um, but first, and I have to read a little bit on my screen too, doing this cleanse, that's a, a part of me loving myself. Look, I... I want to be healthier, right? And to take care of myself. I want to have a good health. I want to have a good immune system. Yeah, and that's that's all we want, doesn't it? Don't we all want that? No? I do, anyway. This is, by the way, lemon water. This is water with a squeeze half a lemon inside here. Yeah. Good in the morning to start your day. And um, I just have to say though, I'm sorry for my French speaking here, but I'm so damn proud of myself for doing this because um, people who know me know that I love food. Um, I love to eat and um, yeah, it's uh, just, excuse me for one second, please. Just one, one second. All right. Um, I love to eat and I love food and um, mm. so I don't always eat I guess the, what's best for me right mm. and um, it 
has been tough for me this cleanse and I had I have definitely had food cravings all right and a mild headache during this and the toilets has been my best friend mm. but so it is okay it has been discipline which I needed in my life anyway uh, especially because uh, no one else around me did this with me I did it completely alone um, I mean my husband didn't do this he doesn't quite believe in this either and that's up to him okay but uh, he's been eating normally uh, besides me and um, yeah I've been sitting there eating my kind of food and I'm gonna tell you more about that so no help there but like I said I'm so proud of myself and um, I did it I did it because I finished it last night all right so this is the first day after the cleanse actually so well, what what is this cleanse all about well now I have to read a little bit from my screen here most of us whether we actually know this or not live with a liver that is stagnant and sluggish slug, sluggish sorry me filled with toxic troublemakers and this is also why I am doing this okay we all have a lot of toxins toxic heavy metal inside of us yeah and what is all that about you might say uh, you know well let me just mention a few things here aluminium copper mercury nickel lead plus more I mean plastic yeah uh, and most of us are also dehydrated whether we know that or not you might think that you drink enough but obviously we don't okay so we drink too little actually uh, many of us start the day with cups of tea coffee you understand this dehydrates you coffee and tea have caffeine in it this is not good for you you think you're waking up to it but actually what you need is um, something else I don't recommend you running yourself on coffee and tea because what you should be doing is the first thing in the morning is the best thing is this water with lemon or lime in followed by the celery juice mm. and um, you can also drink coconut water and like I said lemon lime water if possible leave out the caffeine altogether basically you can if you drink tea uh, I suggest that you drink a herbal tea something with no caffeine in okay not no black tea for, because that's not good many of us also eat too much fat and we don't even actually sometimes think about it that that kind of food we are eating contains a lot of fat okay and especially in the morning just hear this egg and bacon many 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 people egg and bacon and toast and beans white bread do you think that that is a healthy breakfast no it's not or pork meat they have slices of pork meat that you have on your bread with butter on us as well right no that's not good at all your body needs liquid in the morning like fruit berries uh, you could also have green stuff inside um, you know your spinach your kale whatever you want mixed in with uh, the fruit and the berries for example in a smoothie right and the best thing is to try to eat those more fatty foods after 4 p.m. or in in your dinner time okay and then only eat meat for dinner if you if you eat meat that is okay so before I tell you any more about my nine days of 369 the advanced cleanse from medical medium here are the troublemaker food list because there are few that we should whether you actually believe in that or not there are foods that we need to avoid 
and I'm gonna read that the first that's on number one spot on this list and that's egg dairy products and gluten products soft drinks and we should also be uh, careful about uh, the consum consumption of, of salt salty things okay on the second place comes pork meat tuna and corn it's very windy outside and a bit, yeah, it was enormously windy and rainy outside last night all right on the third place comes industrial oil vegetable oil palm oil which is not good at all canola oil corn oil soya bean oil soy and lamb meat fish and seafood other than salmon trout and sardines on the fourth place comes vinegar, including apple cider vinegar. Fermented food like kombucha, sauerkraut, and coconut aminos. And caffeine, including coffee, matcha, and chocolate. Well, for me, uh, I actually don't eat egg. Or egg whites or anything with egg inside I'm really really trying to avoid that sometimes it's unavailable I mean I, I, I eat it but in general I yeah I don't eat it I don't eat dairy products nor gluten uh, product dairy and gluten I am actually allergic to so I can't eat it it makes my stomach really bad and I really didn't drink much soft drinks from before either. Uh, nor do I eat tuna or use vinegar. I also do not drink coffee and I drink very little tea. When, when I drink tea, it's usually herbal tea. But still, I do eat a bit of pork and I love chicken. Chicken wings, whoa. <laughs> Lamb meat, I do not eat. Uh, and this is because I love those animals. I see them every summer when I'm up in the uh, up in the mountains. I don't eat much fish either, but I love seafood such as uh, crabs, lobsters, shrimps, uh, scampi. Yeah, things like that. You understand? Um, now, so about this cleanse, okay? Every morning when you wake up. Because this is now, I'm running down the list of what you're doing during this cleanse. So every every day when you wake up, you start your day with 32 ounces, or as I say it in my country, one liter um, of water with lemon. And this is the water, and then you squeeze in half a lemon or a whole lemon <clears throat> or a, a, a lime okay you drink that 30 minutes you can actually wait just 15 but the best thing to do is wait 30 minutes and then you drink 32 ounces or one liter of pure celery juice this is pure celery juice nothing added and then 30 minutes after that you have your breakfast which is in this case in this cleanse heavy metal detox smoothie and and uh, the recipe for many of these things are in this book this is a guideline also for the cleanses that you do all right and as morning snacks, if you're hungry, you can have an apple or you can make applesauce. And in the applesauce, you can also have a little bit of cinnamon in, okay? For lunch, you usually have a spinach, spinach soup. Again, the recipe is in this book. Sorry, me. And, but the spinach soup, you make it into a soup, a cold soup, that is. Nothing, not, not hot, not hot soup. And, but you can make it into a salad instead okay so the ingredients just make them into a salad instead 
I usually did that. But I like the soup too though. Um, but on one, <clears throat> and this, this spinach soup you have for most of the days in, at lunchtime, but the exception is that for day four to six, you had a liver rescue smoothie for lunch. And again, the recipe is in this book. And afternoon snack, and this is one to two hours after you had your lunch, in if you're hungry, that is, apple or the applesauce. Okay, for dinner you had actually four different options, uh, but all are salads, all are raw food, nothing hot, nothing steamed, nothing cooked, okay, nothing boiled. One hour before bed, you have apple or apple sauce if you're hungry, plus you are going to drink again 16 ounces, or the way I say it, half a liter with lemon, lime, water, and tea. And you could then you could choose between hibiscus tea, sugar tea, or lemon balm tea. And I used the sugar tea the whole time. Uh, on day seven to eight, you had the spinach soup for both lunch and dinner. And in the afternoon, in addition, you had 32 ounces or one liter of pure celery juice. And that had to be taken one to two hours after lunch and 30 minutes before you had your dinner. And on day nine, which was for me yesterday, it's all liquid, nothing to eat at all. And all the food is raw. It's only vegetables, fruit, herbs, and berries. And they're not steamed, cooked, or boiled. And I did it. I did it. I am a food, I mean, I love food, okay? I love to eat chicken and potatoes and chips and ice cream and all this stuff, okay? But... I did it. I'm so, 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 so proud. I am. I am really so proud. So, okay. Now I will share something personal from my journal that I wrote during these 369 cleansed the days that I had. And I, I wrote something every day. And, uh, I started I started on a Saturday because then my end day would be on a on a Sunday because you need it since that day is all liquid so whether you want to start or end uh, like I did it's up to you but I would recommend that the day that you end this is a day that you can be alone or or at least don't have any many chores or need to go to work or need to do something because you might be very tired and yeah so you need to take it easy that day all right so i started on a saturday okay the first day saturday i also had to go to work this day for eight hours basically and i, I work actually in a food store um in a fresh food department i sell fresh meat, I sell fresh fish, seafood, uh, cheese, bakery products, and even hot food, hot meals that you can take with you, ready to go. So it was tough, but it builds character, right? Discipline. I wasn't too hungry the first day, basically, but I did, uh, I'm a, um, I had to read, sorry, me. But I did not feel so heavy in my stomach as I would be um, if I was eating meat. Because I was eating a huge salad for lunch. So, and um, I had a mild headache, which is normal because it's a detox process. But all in all, good. Okay? Day two. All good, not so hungry, 
that's all I want to share there. And uh, day three, I was really thirsty and hungry when I, I woke up and I had lost weight. This is something I will come back to, all right? How much I, I lost. Now, not so hungry during that day either, but all along I had the food cravings, okay? I did have that. So, on day four, tired, had trouble getting out of bed, but had to go to the toilet and then drink my lemon water. I really had to drag myself out of bed that day because I was, yeah, I wanted to stay in bed and just sleep. Also, I had a headache, not a very heavy one, but I felt it. And I had food cravings. I dreamt about eating chicken wings and potato chips, but no, not having any of that. No, 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 no. Day five, feeling better now, thirsty and hungry waking up, felt real good. Lots more energy and I got lots of different things done. And I'm feeling super, super proud of myself. Day six more weight off me and i'm coming back to this uh thirsty and hungry when waking up and i had a diarrhea <laughs> this is the toxin coming out okay it's just coming out and more diarrhea <laughs> losing weight and feeling better in the body knowing that i am doing something really good for my body cleaning and healing it i wasn't even at work for four hours too a short shift that day Day seven, yes, soon the end of this cleanse. My stomach is a still bit loose, diarrhea, but otherwise I'm okay. Was at work for four hours also today, and yes, it is hard to work with food during a cleanse like this, but discipline. And it makes me stronger, okay? I came home from uh, work on day seven, I made my spinach soup and I made it not into a salad, but I made it into the soup, okay? The liquid one. And uh, it didn't taste me at all. I had also that on day seven, I had also uh, a liter of uh, 32 ounces of um, celery juice uh, right after when I came home. And then I waited 30 minutes and I made the, the spinach soup, okay, for dinner. Um, and the spinach soup didn't taste me at all. And my, my husband was sitting there eating chicken wings and potatoes at the same time, okay? And um, I had to almost force the soup in me because I needed the food, right? And I almost, I almost vomited. I sat there with the paper along my, my mouth and wondering if I had to run out to the toilet, but I kept saying to myself that no, 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 I'm not going to vomit because I need the food. I need that in me. So uh, I stopped eating and I was better for it after. Okay. But I told my also myself that I am doing this for myself, for my health and for my body and soul. And um, yeah. Day eight. And that was on Saturday. <laughs> Wow, tomorrow is the last day and then all liquid. <laughs> the day started good, but I am still going a lot to the toilet. And I was also helping my mom out this day. We had first lunch together. I had my salad, uh, spinach soup put into a salad. Uh, and then we went out, out shopping in a, in a shopping mall, shopping center. So, um, and it was okay. Day nine, yes, the last day. All liquid today. Mm. A rainy, grey and wet day, basically, too. Started the day with one litre, 32 ounces of lemon water. 30 minutes later, 32 ounces, one litre of pure celery juice. Then a bit later into the day, I made juice out of a huge watermelon. And wow, that was so good. Filled me up and uh, filled me up quite a bit too. Super, super, super good. So I'm, I'm definitely going to do that again sometime. 
But they say, or he, the medical medium say that we should um, eat watermelons. If you can see in the cover here, watermelons. <clears throat> but you should eat or drink them a bit earlier in the day because the digesting, they, they digest better during the morning, early morning, or in the early days than in the afternoon, evening. But you can still eat it and drink it. In the evening too, of course, but yeah. All right, and let's see what more I said here. Um, then later I drank 16 ounces of a half a liter uh, of a mix of cucumber and apple, red apples, the red apples. Um, okay to drink as a mix but I did not like the taste of the pure cucumber juice because I had to just taste it, right? I, I hadn't tried it before. I, I have tried so many new things during this uh, now. And later uh, in the early evening I had more celery juice. That's uh, one liter of 32 ounces I had. And then I made some fresh orange juice later that evening. So I lost weight and I lost and um, I haven't checked how much it is uh, to say this in English or American way but the way I say it I lost four kilos in just nine days. I will write it down in the description and you can check it out, Google it and to find out how much it is in your language, okay? So I am I am happy about this because this is a bonus basically because uh, yes, of course you would lose weight because you haven't, you eat no fat and stuff like that, but it, this is about cleansing and healing your body and the, especially your liver. That is stagnant and sluggish, remember? So um, I, f I feel cleaner inside and um, I have energy and um, I feel that I'm glowing a bit too, all right? And I need to tell you that um, I had some bad knees and they have been very bad and uh, I've been going to the doctor and yeah, things like that and I've been struggling with them a lot, all right? But I feel better. I feel better in my knees too, yeah, and I have more energy, like I said, and I slept even very good during this this cleanse. I mean, I I thought initially in the beginning I thought that I might not because um, you know I might be running to the toilet needing to pee, but no, it was actually good, um, and I will. Will I do this again? Will I do this again? Yes, I would. Yes, yes. But uh, and, but I want to say something that I think that to you out there, I want to say something to you out there, that if you wanting to do this, and say you are a meat eater and you yeah you eat lots of different food, I or I would say that start cutting out the fat. From your from your what you're eating stop cutting out eggs dairy products and gluten and drink more more lemon water in the morning before breakfast and waiting 30 minutes um, or as it can be actually very hard I would imagine to do this um, I've heard stories about others that have struggled much more than I have been doing. And also try out some uh, pure celery juice because it's pure medicine for you. It heals a lot of things, this pure um, celery juice. So the taste, no, 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 people don't like it. But yeah, you will get accustomed to it. I have and um, so... Um, that's just my advice to you because this can be hard so um, and I, I would suggest I suggest get this book 
and read it because um, it offers you a lot of um, good tips and things okay so <clears throat> I've been going on a very long time now but I hope this has been worth it for you to listen to but I will leave you with a little bit more here's some good affirmations to say or to use I choose to eat healthy foods for my health and vitality so again all the information that you need about this cleanse and other cleanses that you can do for your body medical medium Anthony William uh, and like I said he gets his information from spirit of compassion it's a spirit who speaks to him he has now about six books out I think and you can get them at the library you don't need to use money to get this just get them at the library and read them so I'll leave you with a few more quotes before I say goodbye to you. You, you. you never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. Okay, And changes can be hard and difficult, but the results can be amazing. That's something to think about, hey? Loving reminder. If you don't take time to care about your health now, you're going to have to make time for feeling sick and tired later. And love yourself enough to eat healthy. What is healthy? Well, yes. I mean, I know that people say that it's healthy to eat the eggs and to eat the dairy products and to eat the gluten bread and all that stuff but sorry I don't buy it I know better that's just me okay so if it's not that I cannot eat that I'm making the healthier choice not to okay eat like you love yourself Move like you love yourself. Speak like you love yourself. Act like you love yourself. Okay, people, I know I've been using a lot of time, but healthy eating is the best way to go. And, I mean, try it out. What do you have to lose? Just try it out. Start to eat just more vegetables. Just start by drinking some lemon water in the morning, 30 minutes before your breakfast. Start to eat more fruits and berries in your breakfast. Start to include more green salads, leafy greens, uh, cucumbers, celery, tomatoes, curly flowers, and stuff like this. Start to put more of those into your daily diet, okay? Okay, I have been Anne Greta from beautiful Norway. I hope you like this video. Share it because maybe others need to hear this information. And like my video and please subscribe, okay? To you who has already subscribed to me, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really really like it and more videos to come so um, please take care of you you are so 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 worth it okay you are beautiful we all are and uh, all life matters okay take care thank you for watching thank you so 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 much bye until next time take care bye love you